Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Shop My Stash video. I'm really excited for this one. I uh, pretty much used everything that was in here. I believe I did. Um, some stuff I absolutely loved. Some stuff is good. Um, I think I have one declutter. If you're interested in this Shop My Stash video, please keep on watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and give me a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it um yeah i hope everyone is doing well it's been a while since i talked to you guys i have been really in a bad kind of like mental state so i've been trying to work out kind of relieve that stress but today i'm like you know what helps me talking about makeup so let's do it okay i'm gonna go ahead and get started with powders in here uh i had the huda beauty uh baking powder this is in sugar cookie i really really like it this scent is overwhelming um i want to tell you i did my friend's makeup the other day and i used some stuff on her skin that today i'm like i got i gotta play with that myself <laughs> so we're gonna pull in some stuff she's very sensitive to scented um things so i was like immediately wrote went to use this guy on her and i was like oh crap this is scented let me put it back sidetrack but okay i i like it myself personally but i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out um i have the kosas cloud set this is in the shade feathery this is really nice setting powder i do really like it as well and then i also have my leporia powder oh man i hate this little the packaging of the little one i feel like it um it just kind of like leaks a little no it's not leaking but you know what i mean um do really really like this one i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out i have a feeling i had a um uh, finishing powder where did i put it somewhere maybe hopefully unless i pulled it out and put it back into my stash um for primers i'll talk about the primers i have this one by mac um i only have like one use left in here i think i'm gonna leave it in here i'm gonna try to finish it up the other primer that i had was the elf power grip primer I, for some reason, I felt like the other one was a little bit more tacky than this one, um, like the mint something, but this was pretty nice. I did really like it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, let's talk about, I'm going to want to switch it up a little. We'll do foundations and setting sprays, and then we'll talk about the rest. Uh, for foundation, the first one I had was the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. This looks, this is, sep it separates, it is a serum foundation. But once I shake it, like I shake it really well, it's fine. I did actually like it. I thought it blended really nicely. Very lightweight. was pretty good. Um, the other two I, I liked just as well. The NARS Pure Radiance Tinted Moisturizer. Do really like this one. It was a pretty good match for me. Um, like she, The shade wise was pretty good. This is in the shade uh, Medium 2, Mykonos. There's that one. And then the one by Merit. Ooh, I loved it. I really, really, really loved it um it matched it went on so well i did not have to set it um the shade was pretty good which side is the foundation here it is the shade for me was really nice i did use it as a foundation and as a concealer blended in with a brush no issues went up, uh, over it with um with a uh, like blush and all that stuff no issues there i did not set it with powder but i did use setting spray and then the two sprays that I had in here, I had the one by Peach and Lily. This is the Glass Skin Veil Mist. I did like it as a primer mist and to like melt in the powders after I apply my foundation, like after I set my foundation. They really like it that way. And then the one by Haley's Beauty, the Refresh, I do really like it. I use this more as a finishing spray um, or like a setting spray. It was pretty good. Okay, ooh, concealers. Let's talk about concealers. I had three in here. I had the Morphe 2 Hint and Peak Concealer. Um, this would be more appropriate if you don't have any, like if I'm well rested and I don't really need a full coverage concealer or anything to hide, I could use this one. But if I need real hiding concealing, this is not enough. But it's all right. We're going to go ahead and pull it out. The one by uh, Patrick, uh, Top, Patrick Star. Patrick Star, Patrick Star. I gotta say Patrick Star, right? Yeah. Um, this is the one size concealer. I do really like it. I just find that this shade is a little bit too light for me. This is in the shade light too. And I did self tan like a couple days ago, so I definitely could not use this one. Um, but it's a overall, it is a nice concealer. Very full coverage. You don't need a lot. And then I have the NARS uh, Cafe Con Leche. 
This is the Soft Matte Concealer. Um, this was really, really nice. You barely need anything and it really conceals. I can see like the brush strokes in there, but <laughs> no dip uh, in it at all. I did enjoy it. Okay, now let's talk about uh, bronzers and all that stuff. This is the one that I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. Um, this is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade is Dolce. I feel like on me, this looks too red. It's not a very good shade match for me. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. I will probably give it to my friend. Um, she's a little bit lighter than me when I did her makeup. Um, like that's something I could have used for her. I, I might go ahead and give it to her. She's starting with makeup, so she needs to build her collection. Um, or she wants makeup, you know? <laughs> By Nabla, I love this thing. This is the skin bronzing. Uh, the shade is Dune. Really enjoy that one. The other one that I had in here is the bronze, bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Did really, really like this one too. And then I had a cream one, which was uh, the Sunkiss shade from Nudies, Nude Sticks. I love these. I just, I, I really enjoy them. Okay, for uh, blush, I had a couple in here. The Charlotte Tilbury blush. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I really like this one. I do, I did this time try to like concentrate my brush down here and then use the center shade as a highlight. Worked out pretty well. This one from Bare Minerals. The Genude uh, blush in that peach though was super beautiful. I, I love these peachy shades on my skin tone. So enjoyed that one. And then the other two I have, one is by Mario and this is in the shade Creamy Peach. Another really, really pretty blush. And then this one by MAC, this is in the shade Sweets for My Sweets. I don't have to use a highlighter with this one. This is just enough as a blush and a highlighter. So there's that one. Uh, one more blush, and this was the Benefit Dallas. I really like this one. It just, it's very neutral, like a very neutral uh, blush. I kind of like can pull it into my bronzer a little bit. Do really enjoy it. So here's that. For highlighters, I have a lot of highlighters in here. I had the one from MAC. This is the Lunar Lights highlighter from MAC. This was so pretty on the skin. I almost like did not want to touch it because of the embossment, but it looked so beautiful on the skin. Really loved it. And I just really like the packaging and the embossment on it. Um, the other highlighters I had in here, I had the Jouer uh, Rose Quartz highlighter. This is more on the pinky side. Do really like it, very blinding. The same with the one from Persona, like very bam, highlighty really like this one too and then I had a couple more I had this one by IBY this is in the shade Maltese it's a really pretty shade um, it came a little crumbled from Ipsy so when I tried when I used it and like dipped my brush I tried to go on this part and powder which just went everywhere um, but it was really pretty I did like that one and then the last two one is by Bobbi Brown this is the bronze glow like fresh self tanned this looked amazing on me like really really pretty do really like that one and this um this was from my friend Jen and then the last highlighter in here was the Pat McGrath uh, this is the Ultra Glow Highlighter, the Skin Fetish one. This is in the shade Divine Rose. This is so pretty. Like a really, really, really beautiful highlighter. The formula on, on this guy is just really nice. Oh, look at that. Ooh, okay, my hands are freezing. It's so cold today. It's so unusual. Like we're in the 50s. It was hailing. And we have a frost warning. And I'm in Southern California, you guys. So here's this one. Okay, I do have two face palettes in here. I have the Pat McGrath uh, Bridgerton face palette. And I have the Iconic London one. Which, honestly, I did not use the Iconic London. I just, I love this one from the Mac Bridger, uh, Pat Bridgerton collab. The highlighter in here is so beautiful too. The, both of these blushes, like um, either use them separately or uh, with each other. They're just so, so pretty. I, I like actually obsessed with this palette. I use it quite a bit. So there's this one. And then the other one again is the Iconic London one. I did not use it at all on my skin. I've only like swatched it. So she's gonna go back in here. Um, for eyeshadow palettes, I had quite a few and I used all of them. Pull them all out. There we go. I 
had the subculture in here. Really like it. I like all of them. I had the Melt Mary Jane palette. I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Primrose palette. So pretty. I did not use, I think I used the blush, not the bronzer in here. Yeah, I did. Um, and I think I used all of the shades that are in here except maybe the shade honey I did not use. So pretty, really easy to use too, like the shadows in there. And then I had Plush Like Me, really beautiful palette from ColourPop. Um, the formula of this one, I was actually like pretty pleased with it. It blended super easily, I did not struggle. So there's that one. And then the last palette that was in here is the Pat McGrath Bridgerton eyeshadow palette. I Again, this is one that I'm obsessed with. Like for most of the looks that I've been doing, I've been using this shade, these two, and then this one. Um, Occasionally I'll do these three here, but mostly just those four, oh, so pretty. She's gonna go ahead and come out. Okay, for, um, did I pull anything in? Yeah, I pulled in something new in here. I pulled in this Bare Minerals Strength and Length uh, Mascara. This, um, a really weird shaped wand, like super weird. It's like, okay, how do I use this? Um, you know, but I used it uh, for my lower lashes. It was nice, it's supposed to be like a serum infused mascara to help your lashes longer and not break, but. I don't know if I noticed a difference with that. Um, I finally, like, I just, like, hardly anything in it. Like, it's not coming off anymore. I feel like it's just done, done. This is it. Like, this is it for the Kosas Brow Pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and call this guy an empty. And I do have another one in here. This is the Makeup Revolution one. It's not a very good match for me. It's more like a, a warm brown. It is a warm brown. I think the shade is warm brown. It looks a little bit too warm on my uh, brows, but this isn't a project and I just, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and just roll with it. I'm gonna use it. Um, I can always top it off with a brown mascara if I don't wanna just like, you know, kind of thing. So uh, for lippies, I had quite a few and I think I used every single one of them. Yes, I did. I had the Tower 28, this is in the shade Spicy. Oh, and I had also a Bobbi Brown, uh, like the crushed oil thing, and that's in my purse currently. Um, I had two lip liners from LA Girl. One is in the shade Forever Bear, and the other one is Relentlessly Red. I had the Marc Jacobs uh, Slow Burn. I had uh, Merit, um, Tint, what was it called? This is the Tinted Lip Oil, and this is in the shade Taupe. I really like the formula of these from Merit. Um, this guy was so pretty on. This is the MAC Keith Herring, and this is in the shade Red Herring. Super beautiful on the lips. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury, and this is Patsy Red. I do really, really like that one. This Clinique one kind of surprised me. Um, it, it is actually, there is a little bit color to it, like tints the lip a little bit, kind of like hydrating did really like that one and then the last two by uh wayne goss the lipstick i really enjoyed the lip gloss i feel like i could take it or leave it it's just too metallic for my liking for a lip gloss and it's kind of like a lacquer not just a gloss you know so i'm gonna go ahead and pull all of these out and then let's go ahead and shop my stash for new items we'll start with the new makeup drawer i've only made a purchase for one item in the month of february which will probably gonna roll in and then uh we'll get a couple things that have been living in there for a while and then we'll go ahead and shop my stash like my older stash Alrighty, you guys here's my uh first drawer that we're gonna get into this is the new items to my collection i have moved some newer items um into other drawers like when i did my inventories but i have not added anything in the month of february to here except for this this is the chanel blush lumiere this is the limited edition and this is in the shade Pesh Rosé. I cannot wait to play with this. I'm going to go ahead and pull it in. That's a for sure thing that I'm going to play with this uh, for this time around. So I'm going to pull this guy in. My February Ipsy bag was crap. Like mascara, a uh, 
a, a, a lip balm, an eyeshadow duo that I had requested not to be sent. But the only thing that I selected um, was this one, which is this uh, Bella, Bella Pierre, I think, Bella Pierre. This is the banana setting powder, and this is the light. Um, so I am going to go ahead and pull this in. I just... I was so disappointed with the February bag. It's like, come on. And like a little tiny thing of Tarte Creamy Concealer. I guess I can make this one work. Um, I have the creamy concealer like in full size, but the shade is a little tiny bit dark, but this looks a little too light. But anyway, I'm not pulling it in because I do have a self tanner on. Um, the other newer items that I have here in my collection are in this uh, drawer. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this one in. It's a Mood by ColourPop. I will pull this guy in and what else do we have? Um, got lippies, I think. Let's go ahead and do these. Uh, the clear I'm not gonna pull in because I have the clear. I think I have the clear in like a little sample size, but I am gonna go ahead and pull in the Tower 28. Just add Milky, what's the shade? Let me pull it out, sorry. So the shade Chill, I think I have this one open in a mini, so I'm not going to pull this in, but I will go ahead and pull in the other shade, which is uh, Chestnut. So let's do this one. Um, yeah, I think that might be it. Let's do the highlighter. Um, this was, I did purchase this off Poshmark. This is the Smashbox Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter, and this is in the shade Gilded Rose. I had it, and then I... I returned it because it. I felt like it sucked. This is when it first came out and I regretted that decision. So I was on the hunt for it on Poshmark and I did get it. It is used, but the girl had it in the packaging. So I'm gonna pull this one in. I know I'm gonna be traveling for work. So I'll most likely be wearing a mask or just like regular lip balm. So I'm not gonna skip, I'm, I'm not gonna get any more lippies from here. Um, I'm gonna leave lippies to the end of the video. I'll go ahead and pull them in just to see like what I pulled in for eyeshadow and all that. Um, let's get a primer and setting spray from this side. Okay, for a primer, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. here we go. Um, for primer, let's see. Um, I need hydrating, hydrating, hydrating. My skin's just been dying. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do I kind of want to play with this one. Ella Masca. This is the Hydro Veil. I love this. I really, really love this primer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one in. And I think that will be it for primers. I do want to use up that MAC and my primer that's in my project pan. I've been really loving it and I just want to finish it in the next month. So I, I, I think I'm good on primers. Let's go ahead and get setting sprays. Okay, for setting sprays, I want to get two. I do want to get something that's like a hydrating mist. Um, and then, ooh, I, let's go ahead and play with this one. This is the uh, Ilamasca as well. This is the Hydra setting spray. Let's pull in this one. And then one more. One more for like lasting power. Maybe I'll just, you know, I use this so much. But you guys, I love it. And I do want to finish it before it goes bad. This is the CoverGirl look lock up all day setting mist um i really like this one and the other one that i played with recently i did my makeup for going out and i really needed it to last so i did use this one and it was pretty good maybe i'll go ahead and do this guy let's do the smashbox photo finish setting spray weightless let's do this one okay now i'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more eyeshadow palettes let's go through drawer number one now i have three drawers okay this is drawer number one which is all um like a color pop kind of drugstore stuff in here i feel like i want to skip this one i'm not gonna get anything from here let's move on okay so here's drawer number two for eyeshadow palettes this one i haven't used yet this is the uh like the little mini nars palette it's pretty cute this is in the shade laguna i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull this one in and then i'm gonna go ahead and pull in um Let's do the Lorac, but I'm gonna do the Noir, Noir palette. I haven't used this one either, but I put it in here when I did my inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one in. And now I'm gonna get two more palettes that are older. Um, uh, let's see, from here, I think I would like to do, let's go to the next one. Maybe we can get two from here.
Okay, so from here, the two that I would like to pull in, uh, let's do this one. This has all like my Sydney Grace eyeshadows. Um, yeah, and like some random ones, but this side is all Sydney Grace. Let's do this one, and then one more. I think I will go ahead and do, um, let me see, I can I play with this guy? It's been a while. This is the uh, Full Moon Palette from, what's the, Black Moon Cosmetics. Oh gosh, oh boy. Here it is. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. It's been a while and I really, really like it. Okay, so that's it for eyeshadow palettes. Let's go ahead and get foundations and concealers. I do have a little bit of a self tanner on and I'll probably reapply once more before going on my trip. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull in, I kinda wanted to do this one, but I feel like I had it in not that long ago. So, ooh, let's play with this guy. Um, this is the It Cosmetics. It's been a while and I did really enjoy it. This is the Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. And this is in a like a deep, little bit deeper shade. This is Medium Neutral 31. So I think that would be a good one. And then the other one that I would like to do, let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, this one is pretty easy. And it's actually like very forgiving. The shade in here is very forgiving. Um, the True Match, uh, or I could do this one, the ABH, because I think this is good for me when I'm tanned. Mm. Let me think. I know, like, I, I don't want to be wearing mask and then taking my mask off and like half of my face comes off. <gasps> How about we do the Fenty Ease Drops? Yeah, let's do Fenty Ease Drops. I, I have this in the shade 7. So I got two foundations. I have two foundations that are in like panning projects so I'm, I'm good on foundations let's do concealers i i don't have any currently in like that one drawer my everyday drawer so let's go ahead and do concealers um i really like this one the lancome i'm gonna go ahead and pull it in what else do i really like a lot of them i really like um i do like the hey the rare beauty i do like the haley's beauty i do like that dior one Let's see what we have on this side that we really like. Um, I think I'm going to pull in the Rare Beauty one. And for... This is a little too deep. Let's do the Naked. Over in the case, stay naked. So I'm gonna pull in three concealers. Um, powders, let's do powders now. So I have the yellow under eye powder from Bella Pierre. Um, you know what I used on my friend and I was like, it wasn't intentional, it was a mistake, but it looked stunning. I used the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow to set all over her face and I was like, okay, this looks a little bit like glowy. And then I kept going looking both of them. I'm like, wait a minute, I used the glow, but it looked so beautiful, like to set her entire face with it. It looked stunning. I am gonna go ahead and pull it in. I'm gonna try it on my skin. It reminded me a lot of the, uh, where is it? It's in one of these compacts here. Oh, it's in here. Um, the one from uh, Huda Beauty, the glowish powder. Reminded me a lot of the same look, but this is kind of like not as heavy as this one can end up being. So I'm gonna do this one, the Laura Mercier Glow, and I am gonna use it as a setting powder. I'm gonna try it. So here's that one. Um, I am working on another Laura Mercier as a finishing powder, and I think I'm gonna stick to that. But I do want another powder that I'm like, that I, that I wouldn't worry too much about you know, looking too glowy. Um, kind of thinking Nikia Joy. I really like her powder. Do Nikia Joy. Yeah, I'm gonna do Nikia Joy. Ooh, and I think that will be it for powders. 
yeah that should be enough that's plenty of powders um i do have one face palette which is that iconic london i don't think i'm gonna pull another one because i really would like to be able to use it so let's go ahead and get a couple bronzers blushes and highlights and one single shadow hmm do I want a single shadow? I did reach for this drawer one of the days when I was like really in a rush and I just used this one, this Smashbox always on, just this shade is so pretty. So I did like, I do reach for this drawer occasionally and like pull out stuff that I wanna play with. Um, I think maybe, I think I want to do maybe this guy maybe from Mac. Oh, so pretty. Um, how about we do? I'm gonna try that brown one from Mac. Uh, it's abs. It's Fabstract, which is like a brown one. I'm gonna try it as a like a like a base for other colors to like intensify the color. I'm gonna try this one. Now let's go ahead and get bronzers. Okay, bronzers. I have nothing left from last time or, you know, from the new makeup drawers. So we can get four. <laughs> I'm gonna do Dior, uh, the Forever Skin. This is in Warm, warm Bronze, the Sheet 05 Warm Bronze. I'm just trying to think about like the darkest one. Again, you know, I have a little bit of a tan. I'm proud of it. So here's that one. I'm gonna do the Gucci bronzer. I love this thing and it's, I need to play with it a little bit more. So I'm gonna do this one. Um, I think I would like to do, how about we do, let's do the cover effects. It's a dual, it's a pretty good one. It's this one and it's, ooh, I'm gonna do one of these hourglass. I don't really care which one. Luminous Bronze Light, let's do it. And then one more. One more, one more, one more, I think. Kinda wanna pull in the Glowish by Huda again. I miss it. It's a beautiful one. Yeah, let's do this. There we go, lots of bronzers for this time around. Let's go ahead and get some blushes. Okay, for blush. I want to pull in, oh, it's a little chilly. Um, I do really miss this one from M Cosmetics. It's so subtle, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull that in. Um, I do wanna get some cream blushes, so don't let me forget that. I'm gonna get cream blushes. I miss them and I want to play with them. How about we do Patrick Ta? I'm gonna do She's So LA. This one? Yeah, let's do this guy. And um, I think I'm gonna do from Mac. Got Melba and Peach. This is gingerly. I'm gonna do gingerly. And then let's go ahead and do, I really like this one too. Laura Geller. Yeah, so Laura Geller. This is shade Rose Water. How many is that? Ooh, that's four. Probably good, huh? Oh uh, yeah, because I do want to get some cream. Um, let's do highlights. I think I'm gonna do Amrezi by ABH. This is a really pretty one. Amrezi. Let's do. Let's do a dark one. Let's do. Go ahead and do this guy, Whisper of Guilt. I think it's Whisper of Guilt, right? Yeah, Whisper of Guilt. And let's also do. 
I'm going to do the Barbie one. Barbie Pure collab. Which one? <laughs> That's the question. Um, this is pretty good for both of them. I could use technically with a tan. Um, I'm going to do the second collab. And I'm going to do one more. I think I'm going to go ahead and do... Let me think real quick. What could I do? What could I do? Should we do Moira? I think I just had Moira. Let's do this one. I haven't used it yet. This is the Belief Beauty. There's a trio. This is the Luminizing Glow Trio Sandstorm is the shape. So this is one. Now I'll go ahead and pull in a liquid blush or a cream blush and then I'll do lippies and then we'll do swatches. Alrighty, you guys, let's go ahead and talk about all the products that I picked out for this time around. Um, it is the next day. I couldn't finish filming yesterday, but I'm looking forward to sharing and swatching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with powders. I do have the Laura Mercier Translucent, but this is the glow. I'm really looking forward to using that all over my face. Um, the other two powders I have, I have the Nikia Joy powder. This it's amazing and I'm looking forward. Um, this is probably going to be the powder that I travel with next week. So I do really like it and it's easy. I know how it looks. I know how it works and it sets everything beautifully. The other powder I have in here is the Bella Pierre. This is the banana setting powder. This is the original uh, light banana setting powder. I haven't used it, but I think this will be a good uh, powder for under my eyes. I haven't tried it yet. I do have the little tiny primer from MAC. Uh, I just want to finish it. Again, I think I have like one, maybe two uses left in there. I don't think I have much more. Um, I just finished my workout. I feel like I'm out of breath and I need a drink. Okay. Next up, let's talk about um, bronzers. Uh, the first one I have in here is the Cover FX. This is the Monochromatic Bronzer Duo. And this is in the shade Sunkissed Bronze. Um, I do really like this guy a lot, uh, both the bronzer and like the uh, shimmery shade in here are really, really beautiful. Um, I do have a um, like the the guard, the self tanning guard, the color on right now. I need to take a shower. I need to color my hair and then take a shower. So the swatches might look a little bit mm, non-existent because again a little extra tan right now um but here it is uh i'm really looking forward to using this guy i do like the formula too uh from christian dior i do have the forever natural bronze and this is in the shade 05 warm bronze uh this is a beautiful bronzer and i yeah <laughs> nothing is gonna show up right now and i'm sorry about that maybe i should have waited until after i washed this uh the self tanner guard but like is it called self tanning guard what is it color guard i don't know so there's that one let me see if it comes off with just a wipe i think i need like some soap and scrub but i want you to be able to see okay let's try um, I do have the Gucci bronzer and this is the shade 03. Uh, I don't know. 03 was a medium. Was it light medium? I'm not so sure. But here it is. Another favorite of mine. Yeah, there we go. Now things are showing up. Um, so I'm really looking forward to playing with this one. It was a pretty expensive bronzer. Now I get my money's worth, you know? Uh, next up, I do have the Hourglass. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. Yeah. Um, with these, they don't really show up with swatches. I mean, it looks like, is this a highlighter? But trust me, when you apply this on the face, for some reason, it really shows up. So there it is. And then I think this is the last bronzer I pulled in. This is the Glowish by Huda. And I have the shade 3, 2, medium, 0, 2, medium. Um, and this has a tendency to get hard pan, so I gotta be careful. Like, I had to scrape off the hard pan previously. Not so sure why, but here it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on. I really don't think I pulled in any bronzers, any other bronzers. It's been a long day since yesterday, I guess. Um, let's do blushes next. I do have the Patrick Ta. This is in the shade She's So L.A., um, the cream and the powder in here. So here we are. Ooh, so beautiful. Heck yeah. 
we go. Here's the powder side and here's the cream. Okay. Um, next up for blush, I have, this is by M Cosmetics. This is the Faded Clementine Heavenly Glow. I'm really interested in her newest uh, collection. It looks so pretty. This is a very healthy, beautiful blush. Like healthy looking on the skin, not healthy to eat. Uh, by MAC. <laughs> this is the Sheer Tone Blush in the shade is Gingerly. Mm, MAC, you never fail me. There it is. Uh, the other blush I have in here is the Gola. Gola. What? Laura Geller. This is the Baked Gelato Blush in Rose Water. I love this thing. I really, really do. Like, this is the most pink I would go. It's like a weird pink. It's a pink that looks good on me. So there's that one. And I've got ooh, this baby. And I did pull in a cream... Uh, uh, blush as well, so we'll swatch that too. Uh, by Chanel, this is the Blush Lumiere, and this is the Peche Rose. I'm gonna say pink rose, maybe. I don't know. Look at that. I kind of don't want to touch it, kind of just want to open it, look at it, and say, Hey, beautiful! But we have to. Let's touch it over here. Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty. <gasps> Mmm, heck yeah. Look at that. And it has kind of like a little bit of golden shimmer. I didn't expect that. Like a, not like particles of glitter, just like, yeah, that looks so good. You know what it reminds me of? Maybe a more peachy shade of Luminoso. Like the original Luminoso. Okay, there's that one. I think that's, is that my first Chanel makeup product? What? I think it is. Do I have anything else by Chanel? What the heck? How did that happen? Okay, I, I, I need to expand my horizons, I guess. Um, I think that is it for blushes. Oh, the cream blush. Come on. Come on, Anya. Get with it. Get with the program. Here is this one. This is also by M Cosmetics. And I hate the dropper on here. Like, come on. Yeah, it doesn't pick up shit. Excuse the language. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. We got some on my hand. Yeah, this is by M Cosmetics and this is in the shade Sunset Sky. I think this is gonna be so pretty on. Ooh, yes. <gasps> Look at that. It's kind of like dewy tangerine, but a wearable tangerine shade. Heck yeah. Looking forward to that one too. Okay, next up, let's do highlighters. We've got Anastasia Ambrezi highlighter. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we're going to be glowing to high heaven. Heck yeah. Okay, there's that one. From MAC, Whisper of Guilt. Hmm, okay. Okay. Hmm, it's not the same. This is a little bit, um, this is a little bit kind of like whitish gold, where it's a little bit, not yellow gold, but, you know, a little bit more yellow to it. Um, I have Pure Barbie collab. This is the second one. Oh, is the biggest problem I have with this is so much kickback like particles everywhere and I think my son may, might have done that but okay here we go um I, I tend to use more of the yellow side than the pink side but here it is I, I really like the formula of uh, of pure highlighters like this I feel like this is the same formula as their what is it called like they're soft something um i i like that formula it's very kind of feels a little creamy but it's not really um let me do a little bit of the pink in here i don't want to touch too much because again it's very it's, oh my god this is so beautiful you guys look at that i cannot wait to put that on my face okay there is that one i 
think I have a couple more highlighters and I do have that highlighting palette. So how did these fit in here before? Did this fit here? I don't know. Okay, the other highlighter I have is the Smashbox Vlada Collab. This is the Petal Metal Highlighter and the shade is Gilded Rose. And I, when I tell you, I felt so stupid decluttering this one or maybe returning it when it first came out and then lusting over it again. Um, I did pick it up from Poshmark. It looks like it's barely used. I did clean it, sanitize it and all that, but um, I was just, I regret it not keeping it in my collection. Here it is. You might be like, well, Vanya, you got plenty of other highlighters like this. No, they're not like this. So there it is. And lastly, I have that highlighter trio. This is from Believe Beauty. And this is the deeper one of the two. Um, this is in the shade Sandstorm. I think I bought it mainly for this shade, I think, from what I remember. It looked like it's going to be an amazing shade. Um, this might be a little too dark for me, but if I can do two out of the three, I'm happy. Here we go. Um, which finger? This finger. So this is the shade that drove me to get this hi the highlighting palette. This one right here. It's just got... It's kind of like glowy... I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just an, uh, an overspray, but yeah, there it is. For five bucks can't go wrong with that uh and i do have a face palette so let's go ahead and swatch that one this is by iconic london again this is remaining from last time i haven't used it yet um and i just hope to use it this time so first three shades one two three and then the other three shades one two three looks like it's gonna be a really nice formula so i just need to play with it and the colors look pretty i mean they look appropriate for every day okay let's talk about all of the foundations and concealers and all that that we have and then we'll do eyeshadows um i did not pull in anything new over here i still have the same mascaras uh oh let me talk to you about this guy this is the infallible pro, uh pro last from l'oreal if you are looking for a uh, waterline eyeliner like a black waterline black waterline eyeliner that does not go anywhere for like two or three days this is for you um yeah i fell in love with this guy like seriously i went out with my friends i applied this in my waterline came home washed my eyes did my whole same makeup removal routine i was still there the next day pretty much all day until like two days yeah amazing um next what do i have for concealers i do have three concealers in here i do have the rare beauty concealer i do really enjoy this one this is in the shade 210n i do have the lancome tint idol ultra bar concealer and this is in the shade buff n um 215 the shade 215 i love this guy and then i have the stay naked by urban decay this is the shade 40 ny this is the time where i can use like my darker or a little bit darker concealers because you know self tanning i can use a little bit darker foundation a little bit darker concealer yeah. get some use out of my stuff um for foundation i have did i only put two i guess i did i have the it cosmetics your skin but better foundation um this is in the shade medium neutral 31 Pretty good, like really good foundation, really good shade match for me. And then the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops um, in the shade 7. Did this come out around in the summertime? Again, I did buy a little bit deeper shade because I was a little bit tanner. So there's these two. Uh, for setting sprays, I do have the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray. Love it. And I'm going to try this guy for the first time. This is by Ella Masca, the Hydra Setting Spray. Um, I've never tried it before. This came in the look fantastic advent calendar and i do have the Elamasca uh hydro veil primer this is amazing i absolutely love this thing like absolutely love it 
it's so it feels so nice going on the skin um it just preps the skin in an amazing way so i love that guy i like that the texture is kind of like ooh, what the heck is this okay um now let's go ahead and move on to eyeshadows uh, the first one that i want to talk about is this one from mac this is one of their paint pots and this is in the shade it's fabstract it's just a matte brown um and i'm looking forward to using this guy as a um, like a base for other shadow that just needs a little bit more like intensification intensifying intensification hmm okay there's that one and now let's talk about the eyeshadows eyeshadows i'm gonna go ahead and get started with these two since i already pulled them out i do have the nars uh they, they came out with these around the holidays and this is in the shade laguna they did not get very good reviews um and they're tiny tiny but i think i could travel with this one um neutral looks and hopefully the formula is good my fingers don't even fit in here what in the Ooh, pretty good formula seems like it maybe they got a lot of hate because they're tiny but i mean maybe i don't know oh my gosh that is a beautiful shade look at that look at this one and this one Okay, this is definitely going to go in my travel bag. There she is. And look how cute and compact that is. Like, say what? Um, Next up, let's do Orb of Light, the Full Moon Palette by Full Moon Cosmetics, Black Moon Cosmetics. I've been like searching online to see if they came out with another one. They do have another one, but it's a lot of color, and I'm not looking for color. I'm looking for grunge. Um, let's do a couple swatches from here. You know, the formula of this reminds me a little bit of the formula of ABH. You know, like a little bit of powdery, very pigmented. And, ooh. Okay, I, I don't know why I skipped this one, but let's swatch it. Black is black. Oh, stain my finger. There she is, oh, most of the colors. It just makes me happy. Shades like this make me happy. Okay, I could cover this one. I don't need this gray, but it makes me happy. Okie doke, next up. We have three more eyeshadow palettes. Got the Lorac Pro Palette Noir. Got this one last year during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Yeah, it's been that long. Uh, mm, where do I begin? Where do I begin? Let's edit this part out. Okay. Ooh. Look how beautiful this one is. Dang, Lorac. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to be gone for a full week, so I might have to take two eyeshadow palettes so I don't get bored. Or three. Could be. But dang, look at those shades. Okay. I'm going to do a couple more swatches from this this one palette i really want to feel this guy over here my tummy is growling and this one oh, look at these oh, mm, delicious looking um I pulled this guy in mainly for these nine shades here. These are Sydney Grace. I cannot remember what they called this nine collection. Like they came in a nine set by itself. 
Um, they, these, the ones that have eyes on them are from e.l.f. Way back in the day when e.l.f. used to have eyeshadows. Don't know what this one is. I know this one is Dose of Colors. It was a shade that I ordered and then arrived completely shattered twice. And then I repressed this one. So, anyway, I don't, I, this one I don't remember what it was. What is it? Should I pick it up? I'm always scared with those ginormal claws that I have that I'm just going to stab things. Um, yeah. No, mm -hmm. oh, no, see, I did. This is Tarte Shakedown. Wait, why would I, where, how in the world do I have a Tarte? Oh man, why did I do that? Why do I have a Tarte shadow like that? Might have came in Ipsy or something. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I haven't used this one. I mean, I've had it for so freaking long. Ooh. Look at these. Why haven't I used it? Okay. Let's do the next column down. Here we go. And then last column. Heck yeah. Look at these shades, man. What in? Oh, yeah. <gasps> mm. Green. You know me. Me and greens. I love it. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and swatch a couple of the other shades. Um, I'm not going to swatch all of them. The elf ones, it's probably time that I actually like declutter them. Um, I mean, I don't think elf has sold any single shadows in years. Um, I do want to swatch this one for you. Um, okay. I want to swatch. Let's try this tart one. Looks like I haven't even touched it. Do I want to try the elf ones? Oh, that feels really nice, actually. Now I'm going to do this guy. Okay. This is the one from Dose of Colors. Oh, jeez. And we got, I think this is elf. This is tart. And then this is a mystery shade. Here we go. Beautiful. It's a mood. Here we go. Um, I, for some reason, I want to touch this one. Oh, it's that glitter. Dang it. Need some glitter glue. I know that one's glitter. I don't want to even touch it right now because I got a lot to swatch. I want to do this one. Thunder. How about we do feels like? And... Let's try this one. Self control. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> Damn. Yeah. I'm going to have to use some glitter glue or wet my brush to get all these little shimmery things. Here's, here's this one. Stormy. Stormy. This one is thunder. Mm, I love shades like this. And this one is feels like does it feels like yeah it feels like all right next up let's go ahead and swatch i really want to swatch wanna go i wanna go on a vacation um moves huh <laughs> nice one moves moth um for a night and oblivion because why not Okay, the shimmers are pretty nice in here. That's a, that's kind of, this Oblivion shade underwhelms me a little. And I totally dug my claw into that one glitter shade. Hmm, I hope this one performs better. Okay, let's do it. I think this shade just wants to be touched. So let's do it. This is in the shade a Ritual. Mm. Oh my. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe I should just... If I did not hate seeing empty pans or like, you know, missing things 
in palettes, I would totally just scrape the crap out of that one and call it done. Um, it's pretty. I I think it's it's pretty. But can I use this on my eyes? Probably not eye safe. I'll have to look. Um, it's chunky glitter, you know? It's not like really fine glitter. But here's the other ones. Um, this Moves Moth shade is actually really pretty. Moves. Really pretty. This one too. What was this one? Go on a vacation? Wanna go. I renamed it Go on a vacation. Um, why don't we do this one surface? Oh, this is loose in here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really, really pretty. Okay, looking forward to using this palette. Looking forward to all of them. I I mean all of them. I just need to use do my makeup more often, you guys. All right, next. Uh, I think that's it for eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. We'll do lippies. I did not pull in many lippies because I feel like sometimes I'm, I kind of get sick or I don't even want to play with the ones that are in here. So I always go back to my collection and get some other lippies that would go with my looks that, for that day. So I'm like, okay, I'll just pull these because these are kind of like appropriate for the shadows I have. And then if I need to, I can go to my collection and get something else uh, to use for that day. So let's do the one, the lippies that I did pull in. Just my OCD. All right, for lip liners, I got two neutrals. Uh, one is by NYX. This is in the shade Ever Fever. What is it? Ever. Ever. I think this was like supposed to be a dupe for one of Charlotte Tilbury's lips lip liners I'm not so sure here is that one from Milani I got one of the understatement lip liners and this is in the shade Cafe Ole this is a really beautiful neutral uh yeah neutral uh a neutral neutral <laughs> neutral nude there it is um, from Maybelline, I have one of the Superstay Ink Crayon, and this is in the shade Pave the Road. Oh, this is so pretty. I, I really like the way these smell. I really like the way that they apply. They're so creamy. There's that one. Um, I did pull in two bullet lipsticks. One is by Besame. This is Victory Red. Just, I needed to have a red in here, so... A cool tone red. Oh, that's so pretty. The other one is from Pat McGrath, and this is in the shade Christy. This is a, I, I really like this nude too. It's like one of my favorite nudes. Here's that one. Um, I pulled in three lip glosses. One is by NYX. This is one of the butter glosses, but this is like the newer releases. This is in the shade Bit of Honey. Super comfortable. Oh, no. Gotta clean that up. Or otherwise it's gonna be sticky sticky. Okay. Um, the other one is from Persona. This is in the shade Toffee. Oh, I love these from Persona. Oh, they smell so good too. And the last one is from Tower 28, and this was like the holiday duo, and this is in the shade chestnut. Um I, I don't know why I smelled it. I was like, maybe it smells because the Persona one did. There's that one. It's pretty, really pretty. Um, using a lot of lip glosses recently because my lips are just dying. From NARS, I have this Laguna, like tinted lip balm. What do they call it? I, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm trying. I'm Afterglow lip balm. My eyes are can't see crap. Um, yeah, it's a lip balm. Just, I don't know why I'm swatching it. Can you see it? I can. It's very little. And that's it. That's all I pulled in for lippies. Again, if um, I'm definitely going to be, pro I'm most likely going to need something else. So I will just open up my doors and get something else. Um, or I'll try to use the lippies that are in Project Pan. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me. Shop with me. Shop my stash video. Dude, I'm telling you, it's been a long couple days. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this shop my stash video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. 
please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and thank you so much for watching and staying all the way to the end i appreciate it you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye